with your dance for that? Uh, well, anyway, I'll, I'll say in a bit. But in uh, also in December, I'll be joining James in that, where I'll be doing a blind run. It'll be my first time ever playing Final Fantasy V uh, on the PS1. Um, so be, if, I, if I can't run on PS1, I'll, I'll, do, I'll do the big E and uh, run it that way. Excuse me. Um, and uh, for December, I will also be streaming Final Fantasy XIV. There you go. Because right. I, can, I can do that as well. Okay. So, so James, where did you leave off last time? Where did I leave off last time? I left off in the beautiful port town of Saith. Um, I had attempted to defeat the slime that's on the ship, um, and was unsuccessful. So I did a little grinding, uh, between the last stream and this one, and, uh, I've gotten my party up to level 13. Uh, I think they were, like, level 10 or so. So I should have a better time this time. <laughs> Okay. Um, oh, do I have... Also, I gotta say, I hate this fucking game. What, Lunar? Not be... Yes, because of one fucking fact. And it's because your HP at level 13 is so fucking low. Is it? Yeah, that's just... Really? James, 82 health. Yeah. Um, what's actually kind of bugging me here, personally, um, I love the fact that Luna's, comparatively, Luna's uh, MP is pretty high. I mean, her spells aren't very expensive. Um, MP doesn't matter, it's HP to me. But then Nash's MP is like, 30 points behind Luna's. That just bugs me. Huh. Alright. So, this is take two on the slime monster. I'm a little stronger now. So. I'm gonna set everybody back a little bit. Just to give myself a better, uh, better chance to start off here. Um, all right, just got a text from Paper Zombie. Thanks for watching, Zombie. And we'll see uh, you again Cody, you need to pick up. PS4. I. Yeah, he sent me a code again tonight, won't. so I'm gonna download it overnight tonight. I probably won't get it. Because I'm not good with horror games. Mm. Um. Yeah. I'm not oh, good nice. With Luna's got a group heal now. Sweet. <laughs> okay, so we'll buff Alex. We'll send Ramus in. And we'll have Nash cast Thunderbomb. Check this out. Alex is stronger, and Alex is about to get more stronger and have better defense. Oh jeez, that thing used both of its attacks on Nash. Okay, so now that Alex is buffed... Oop, hold on. Hold on. I don't want to use the right now. I want to use Sword Dance. And let's... Uh, Ramus. Um, let's have Ramus use an herb on Nash really quick. Thunderball. Sword Dance does almost 250 damage. Hell yeah, I'll be able to keep ahead of this regeneration. Gelatin Breath? No. Oh, okay, okay, that was just showing him what I was doing this. Okay, um... Let's do healing. 
song on Alex. Yeah, brain by some tactics time. So yeah, I think this is gonna go a lot better. Especially with the uh, damage output Alex has going. Check this out. So you are typing really loud, Kobe. Yeah. Oh, even with the Am I? Oh yeah. Well, so here's the thing though, James. I'm not typing loud, that's how I normally type. Second, I'm typing fast as shit. Yes, you are. And normally I'm a very slow typer. Check this out. I wonder, did my guild leader ask for me? Yeah. He probably did. Oops, I just realized I had Ramus use the other bottle. Oh no, I did have a piece not Nash. Never mind. Dead. And with the final fantasy, you can get Oh, okay. It's all buff Nash now. I think Ramus has gotten into his range because he's like not even getting level up bonuses anymore. Like his only bonuses before were to his HP. Like he's like not getting anything now when he leveled up. So is this a boss fight, James? It is a boss fight. Okay. Okay, fuck it. So I go Genesis. Genesis does what Nintendo don't. Sega! And what Nintendo don't is, uh, stop making consoles. Hey -o! Oh! Hey, I beat it. Hard. Hey! Your kids did it. You slayed the beast and saved me, ship. Would you be kind enough to hand over the map? Okay. Gave Okay. Har, okay. I'll never let this lovely rag out of my grasp again. You're headed for Meribia, are ya? I insist that you sail there with me on the Hispaniola, free of charge. Really? You'd do that for us? Har, of course. No, suck my dick first. Let's... <laughs> These are kids, Cody. <laughs> It'll take me crew a while to fix the damage, but they'll be done by the morning. I'll make sure of that. These buggers are lucky to have jobs after the cowardly display. Har. Get some rest of the dogs. Har, 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 I'll have har, the crew roused yet, daybreak. Didn't you hear me? Get to work. I'm the first one yet who ran away gets to swab the slime off the deck. Oh, I need to deal with the JavaScript? Really? Tomorrow, know, Alex, man. we're going to be in the biggest city in the world. What do you think it's like? Will the people be friendly? Will they have good fish? Hell no. <laughs> nope. You know what the best part of this, Alex? My dad wouldn't we're believe it if he it saw out. it. I'm just happy to be leaving this hibbilly haven behind. A person as sophisticated as I am means the commerce and culture of the city. I also need people who listen to me when I'm speaking. Let's get some rest, Alex. And a snack, too. Fighting that monster made me hungry. Good idea, Ramus. Luna, are you... okay? I'm sorry, why aren't you going ahead? I'll catch up. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Ow! And then Alex suddenly runs up behind her and shoves her into the water. Okay, no that doesn't happen. Alex, something's up with Luna. You saw the look on her face. Let's talk to her and find out what's wrong. 
Luna? Alex? I... I'm not going to Moribia with you, Alex. I'm staying here. Luna, I don't understand. Is it my breath? I can brush my teeth. Everything you've talked about, everything you've dreamed of since you were a boy. It's come true, Alex. You're on a great adventure, just like dying. I always told you I believed in you. But deep in my heart, I'm not certain I really did. Ooh. Ow, Luna. Why else would I be so surprised at what's happening to us, Alex? It's just so... unbelievable. You've grown so strong, Alex. Strong enough to venture into the unknown. With nothing but confidence in yourself and your friends. And no underwear. Luna, how did you know I wasn't wearing underwear? If I couldn't put all my faith and my trust in you, how can you put yours in me? All I would be on this trip is a burden, Alex. I know you won't admit that even to yourself, but somewhere deep down you know it's true. But, Luna, I've made up my mind, Alex. I'll watch you set sail in the morning and then I'll return to Burn. Through that big scary monster filled forest all by myself. I'll wait for you there, Alex. I'll always wait for you. Good night, Alex. Wow, we just got a lot of feels right now. A little bit. Luna. X button in. Fate of Alright. <coughs> and see. Are you sure you're going to stay here, Luna? Yes, Null. No, I'm worried about Alex's parents. I have to head back and let them know you two are doing fine. I'll miss you, Luna. Aw, I don't like looking at Sad Null. It's depressing. Null, no, you have to take care of Alex for me, alright? No problem, Luna. If we get into trouble, I'll just talk us out of it. That doesn't really work, no. Take care mm. of yourself, Alex. Don't do anything too dangerous. Don't sleep with your feet sticking out from under the covers. You'll catch cold. Don't forget to eat an orange or two on the ship, and... Don't forget about me. Don't you forget about me. I'll be don't alone. You. Dancing, you know it, baby. Luna. Tell me. Your troubles and doubts. It's I. Oh, God. I can't remember how the rest of the song goes. Now I want to watch The Breakfast Club. Har, Raise the sails. Take care, Luna. Remember to tell my dad I'm not coming back until I've made my first million. Farewell, Luna. I'm confident we'll see each other again. Bye, Luna. <laughs> so million, long. See ya. You're never coming back. Funny you should mention that. He, he, he will die before he gets that first in the middle. <laughs> no. I'll miss you, Alex. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. I think my version of her voice is less uh, cringe-worthy than Luna, the voice actress. Luna, you have to come with us. What? Luna, Maybe. all the exciting adventures in the world mean nothing if you're not with us. This isn't just my adventure, Luna. It's ours. Oh, Alex, but what if... There's no time to think about it. Hurry! Give me your That hand. said, though, the voice oh. acting in this game really isn't that bad. Oh, I hope I did the right That's thing. True. And you'll it's be right so here exciting. with us, where you belong. Oh, Alex, I don't know about this. I'm pregnant. I mean... Wait. Never mind. What's wrong, Luna? Your face is all red. I'm just I'm trying dying! to catch my breath. That's all. I knew you would come with us, Luna. I had faith in you. Oh, Alex. Oh, Anakin, 
Oh, Padme. Alex, I don't know about you, but I'm getting chilly out here. Want to head below? No, I want to get some of that chili you mentioned. Excuse me, sir, but what are you doing? Excuse me, sir, what the fuck do you think you're doing? What am I doing? Stirring the ship. Steering? What? Does that have anything to do with cows? <sighs> no. Uh, no. We're murdering the cows! I use this wheel to control the direction in which the ship sails. Wow, what great magic. It, no, come on. I know you're a flying cat, but come on. Hard. Good to see ya. Let me thank you again for yesterday. Whew. I'm still busting my crew's chops over the way they ran away like a bunch of girlies. I'm sorry I couldn't put you up in the first class, Captain, but I didn't have the room for you. And I couldn't bump in any of my paying customers. After all of them blooming repair costs, I needed the money. Hey, the captain was telling me about your kids. You got back the sea chart and killed the monster. I didn't think there were any brave kids left in the world. Man, I'm nervous. This is my first trip as a crewman of on the Hispaniola. I've been put in charge of hoisting and lowering the sails. Do you know how important that is? I thought I'd be chief deck swabber or something. I'm not ready for this much responsibility. Don't be such a chicken, man. Yeah, don't be a chicken, man. Be a chicken woman. You don't want to end up walking the plank, do you? Yes, we're finally heading to Moribia. One more day and I wouldn't have had a job when I got there. Now I'm totally set, and I hear the guys in Moribia are the cutest in the entire continent. Who cares about the guys? Tell me about the fish! Oh no. Oh yes. I'm headed for Mel's mansion as soon as we reach Moribia, but I hear he's a really scary guy. And I doubt he has the time to meet with people who just walk in off the street. Yeah, he's probably not. Master Mel has a daughter named Jessica. She's an absolute fox. I hear she's also one of the strongest chicks in Moravia, so I've been working out. Would you like to feel my abs? No. No! Oh, from what you're saying, I think you're a bit misguided. That's not all. Tell him what like it is. Let's skip the other rooms and just go back here and talk to my peeps. Before you sell that diamond Ramus keeps rambling about. I think you should meet with Master Mel. Mel, sounds familiar. As well he should. Mel is one of the four heroes and the governor of Moribia. Mel is a very friendly person. He might even be able to put up with your attitude. Fuck you, Nash. Alex, I don't think I've ever been so happy. We're on a fantastic adventure, and we're gonna be filthy stinking rich. See, if I'd listened to my dad and stayed home, none of this would have happened. Here's Luna. Hello, Luna. Alex has grown up so much since we set off for Burr. When we left, he was just a boy, and on the outside, he still is. But he's changed somehow inside. I think he might be an alien. This is all happening so very suddenly. I wish I could understand these feelings. But, I mean, you're just gonna stand here and talk to yourself, Luna? Is that, is that it? What's the matter, Luna? You look awful. Do you have to hurl on deck? I do feel seasick. So no, now that you mention it, I think I'm going to lie down before I get any worse. Besides, I want to be ready when we arrive in Moribia. I can't wait, and I still can't believe we're really doing this. I thought she wasn't coming on the boat. Uh, Alex Hawker right now. Yeah, Alex talked her into it. There was this big dramatic moment where she ran to the end of the dock and jumped, and Alex caught her hand, and now she's here. Okay. Luna? Hmm? What? Huh? Hey, where's Luna? Alex, where'd she go? Let's go find her, Alex. There are only so many places on the ship she can be. Girl overboard! Oh. I went up the wrong place. Uh, once. 
these stairs. Yes. I'm on a boat, motherfucker. Don't you ever forget. I'm on a boat, and it's going fast, ain't it? Luna. This is actually kind of a crazy. So, no talking. Okay. Actually, I'm going to take my headset off for a second. had an opera scene, like in Final Fantasy VI. This would be it. This would be it. Okay. This this is my favorite scene in, in this whole game. Hey Luna, what are you Shh Yeah, I don't know if it was just me, but the audio seemed a little DC, but oh no, it wasn't that bad. Um, it may have been just me though. I don't know. Yeah. Well, it could also be the the animation too. <clears throat> yeah. Alex, no. How long are you two going to sleep? We're only a few miles away from Moribia. It's time to wake up and get some sunshine. Luna, I hope your nose is a snooze button, because I'm about to jab it. Oh no, quit your moaning and get up, Stumblebutt! Stumblebutt. I'm gonna have to start using that as an insult. Stumble? Stumblebutt? Stumblebutt. 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 I sure am glad you woke me up, Luna. I was having a nightmare about a bunch of half-dressed servant girls hand-feeding me fish. Excuse me for thinking you wanted to wake up sometime this year. I love Luna, she's so feisty. We're in Moribia, Alex. We're really in Moribia. Give me a big juicy pinch because I have to be dreaming. Let's see my dad yell at me when I come home with a sack full of silver. Oh, I guess that's the money in this game, silver. I think Remus is a little overwhelmed right now. Aren't you excited too, Alex? You don't have to be calm. 
It's okay to let go of your emotions once in a while. Let's see what let's see what Nash Hole has to say. Why don't you calm down? Rivia isn't going anywhere. Why are you so restless, Nash? You're just as worked up as the rest of us. So that I can report to Ru <clears throat> uh, because everyone knows you think more clearly when your heart is pumping. Sure, Nash. You kind of seem like you're uh, hiding something. Because he is. Dun dun dun. Hot twist. Okay. Wow! It's even more magnificent than I imagined, Alex. <coughs> I don't say the cutscenes in this game are done really, really well. Oh. I mean, if anything, a good art director. Yeah, they did. They the work they did on this uh, remake was really, really good. I really wish working designs was still around. Like, I would love to see the stuff that they would put out nowadays. Yeah. Well, it's been fun, but I have some business to attend to. I'll be in Moravia for a while. If you need to find me here, I'm usually speaking to my fellow mages on Black Road Street. So long, then. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> Bye, bitch. <laughs> At last, we're finally in Moribia. I'm gonna find a shop and sell the diamond. See you later. We're gonna be rich, Alex. Filthy, stinking rich. <laughs> I think I'm almost as excited as he is. Come on, Alex, let's look around. One of the four heroes Master Bell lives in the city. You want to see him, don't you, Alex? <coughs> Definitely. No. Wow, Alex seemed really excited, didn't he? Okay, well, let's do a little exploring. Coming through, old man. Lovely scent, by the way. Is that eau de cheap whiskey? Sir, you'll catch a cold if you sleep out here. <gasps> Shut up! This is a city of freedom. I can do what I want. Stock pretty girls, drink till the gas is straight, you name it. <gasps> I love this place! Oh, he seems, uh, charming. Ooh, there's a weapon shop. Yeah, let's check out the shops. See what kind of upgrades we can get. Oh! Another one's got it. Welcome to my shop. Many rare weapons can be found here. What can I do for you today? Yeah, we're here to sell some dragon shit. How much do you want for it? Um, oh, I can get a fire cane for Nash. Small bow, I already have one of those. A long sword, I already have one of those. So... That's a really expensive staff, though. Let's, uh... I think there's other shops, so let's see what else we can into. Okay, so I can go ahead and choose the Grand Inquisitor, but it's going to be windowed very weirdly. Oh, there's new armor here. Okay, so I can get iron armor. Which I, oh, my inventory is full. Okay, hold on. Let me, uh, let me manage my inventory real quick. Okay, definitely want to get the iron armor for Alex. And get an iron shield. And a uh, iron helmet. And we'll get that headband for Luna. Which 
can't use shield. And let's sell Alex's old gear. Now let's go to Black Rose Street and see what we can find there. Maybe find some stuff for Luna. Shop. They did not change. Healing Dot, Starlights, Dragonfly Wing. I'm looking for equipment. Weapon Shop. Long Sword, Small Bow, Fire Cane. Okay, so it's the same weapons as the other shop, so I guess I'll just get a fire cane and give that to Nash later. And yeah, let's check out the armor shop. <coughs> Come on. Robe. I will get that robe now. Steel armlets. I'll buy one for Nash just in case. That's what happened. I still haven't determined if singing is the key, but I have a strong suspicion that it is. Nash, your friends have come. Alex, Luna, did you think to knock before entering? She looked we seem evil to well. have guests, but I welcome those pursuing knowledge, as always. For you see, I am a student of knowledge, past, present, and future. <coughs> I can foretell many things. In so the yeah, there is audio. So, let's is see there? you. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. That's why you came to me today. We didn't come it? here to learn anything in particular. We were trying to find Nash. Oh, really? From what I glimpse of your future, child, you need my services quite desperately. So many of the questions you have about yourself are ones that I can answer. And you, Alex, you seek to become the greatest hero our world has ever known. But you are too humble to be a dragon master. You are unwilling to choose power and glory over friends and men. This will be your undoing. What's my fortune, lady? Licking your paws and coughing up hairballs, cat. It is an insult to think I would waste my energy looking for the future of a rodent. I am not a cat. You are a cat. Alex, Luna, have you finished your tour of the city? Having lived in the desolation of Caldor Isle, you two must be completely overwhelmed. I'm sure you will just in time, and if you don't, I'll be that much more amused. Nash, what were you asking the fortune teller about? Hoping she might know a spell to cure bad hair days? You rude little rodent. In fact, I asked her, well, it's none of your business anyway, is it? Oh, I know what it is. You asked her to see if there's a woman in your future. Heh <laughs> Nash wants a girlfriend. Good luck, tiger. Yeah, Nash, I think you might need a little uh, ointment for that sick burn.
I guess I should start raiding houses for treasure. Yes. Official proclamation. The mountain road to Nanza has been closed indefinitely due to the danger posed by roving bandits. Moravians are not allowed to travel the road until further notice, especially foolish young daughters. Signed, the Governor Mel the Alkirk. Roving bandits, Alex? It sounds kind of dangerous. I probably read that one wrong. That's okay. Here's a question for you, James. Here's an answer for you. Um, so the, on a form, for you, uh, Alkirk, there's a vote Moravia. between who is the worst parent, Raven or Weiss's father. If you dare to make any sort of Ooh. trouble in my town, yeah, that's <laughs> heads off your twiggy little neck. So far, it's tied. <laughs> so Jock or Raven? Because, I don't know, I think it would have to go with the Raven for me, honestly. I don't know, I mean... Jock did one. slap the sh that is a very tough one, because Jock is a fucking asshole with that. Or, yeah. stepdad? I mean, Raven's 
not there for Yang, and Jock is. At all. But Jock is abusive. Mm, well, you're right and then you're wrong. You have... <sighs> okay. You have... Jock technically cares for Weiss, but only because he wants him to business. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, that's a tough one. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm gonna go spar with uh, Master Mel. Go ahead. It is 2.12 in the morning, and I am watching a chicken getting the shit kicked out of by a cat. Well, okay. Don't ask me why. I don't have any healing items on Alex. I don't think it matters if I win or lose. It's a dead man's party. It's a dead man's party. You good ass boy. Potential. Alex already met with Quark and passed the first dragon trial. Quark, eh? Well done, lad. You might well be the next Dragon Master after all. But I'll still be able to kick your scurvy hide. Ha ha ha! Hoi 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 There should be a statue of Alpina around here somewhere. Totally different weapon shop with new gear that I wish I had. Shit. Okay. Well. Ah, oh, broadsword. Broadsword and a battle bow. Six hundred. Six forty. Shit. Need twelve hundred forty. Well. Let's sell some stuff. I don't think I need that many starlights. Speaking of Ramus, let's go find his heavy butt. See if he's got that diamond sold. Hmm. 
You don't understand. This is a Dragon Diamond freshly minted from Quark's Mighty Keister. He doesn't give these away to just anyone you know. How am I supposed to know if this is a genuine Dragon Diamond? We've had a devil of a time with the Dragon Draconium lately. It seems like we've got a fool in here every day now claiming to have a genuine Dragon Diamond. But I will admit, this is the most beautiful gemstone I've ever seen. Hey Alex, did you meet with Master Mel? I'm still negotiating with this guy to buy the diamond, but I might have to settle for a lot less than it's worth. I'm sorry. Like I've been telling you, young man, this is a wonderful stone, but the Dragon Diamond? Sorry, no. No one even knows where to find the dragons anymore, much less how to get diamonds from them. Alright, alright, so how much will you give us for it? For a diamond of this caliber, I'll give you 20,000 silver for it. And that is my one and only offer. It's your decision, Alex. It's your decision too, Alex. What should we do? What do you think, Cody? Should we take the 20,000, or do you think we can get more? We can get more. Is that right, young man? Well, you're welcome to look around, but you're not going to find a store that can offer half as much as me. I'm the richest jeweler in Moravia. Listen, I'm not denying that this is a wonderful diamond, although it has an unusual smell. But how can you expect me to believe that it's a dragon diamond, lad? Unless the dragon himself is willing to come here and back up your story, I can't pay what you're asking for. Please don't get upset, I know we can still do business. <clears throat> My offer is the same, young man. 20,000 silver for your lovely diamond. Alex, I think we should take his offer before he changes his mind. The price is right. <laughs> Excellent. I'll go into the back and get your money. Hand over the diamond so I can put it into my safe. Wait here, please. A dragon diamond. I didn't realize it took so long to count 20,000 silver, Alex. Maybe it's too heavy for him to carry it all out here at once. Alex, something is wrong. Dross? Hello? Where are you? Alex, Ramus, Dross is gone and so is the Dragon Diamond. We've been had. Please don't hurt me. I just started working here. I don't know anything. I don't know anyone. Yeah. Look. Uh, why don't you talk to Master Mel? Maybe he could help you. This is all my fault, Alex. I should have known Dross was a con from the start. I got cocky because I was able to catch Brett. I'm so sorry. Should be. Well, first, let's go see if we can get some better gear for Ramus. Now that we've got him back in my party. Oh, so he can use uh, iron armor. Okay, so he can use he can use all the armor here that Alex can. I guess let's give him the helmet and use the shield for now. And gold shield. Does not give us enough to get anything else right now. So that means we're going to have to do a little warming. Um, no. I should hand out some stuff.
Let's go talk to Mal real quick. <coughs> so, lad, what's on your mind? We were trying to sell our diamond to a man named Dross, but he stole it. I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times. That Dross is a crook. But it's your fault too. You can't just hand over a valuable diamond like that. Since you're trying to become adventurers, I think I'll let you solve this on your own. Test your strength, but trust your heart, lad. All you can truly rely on is yourself. Okay, so basically Mel has just told us we're shit out of luck, and we have to do this ourselves. So, with that... Let's head back to the pawn shop. We're gonna head into the sewer. And uh now that we're in the sewer, let's go ahead and save. And uh, we're going to go ahead and continue this on Thursday. I'll probably do a little farming and grinding in between then, um, just to get I mean, Ramus some better gear. But uh, I, mean, I mean, are you good now to grind again, or...? Yeah, I'm I'm good to grind again. Um, I just I have to get up early tomorrow morning, mm -hmm. so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream like this. And the next couple days after work and such, I'll I'll grind and level up and get some money for better gear for Ramus. And um, like I said, we'll we'll pick the stream back up on Thursday. So okay. thank you guys for watching, and till next time.